Happy Tuesday. It is move-in day. It's sunny at the most days. You'll never see the sky if you keep looking down. And if you take the wrong oh, way. And maybe you should stay instead of turning around. For the next week. I'm going to be testing a bunch of different workouts by a bunch of different iconic fitness YouTubers and I'm going to be reviewing them for you guys. Uh, here we go again. K-A-B-W-S-A, I'm the man. I get it poppin', I make you a fan. I rep my city, place key in my hand, yeah. I have something to admit to you. I'm not proud of it. I'm not happy to be saying this, but... I miss home workouts. I know. I know. Ever since quarantine last year in around June, I have not gone back to home workout. I've been at the gym. I'm still, you know, kind of riding my gym high. I suddenly have this urge to do home workouts all the time. I don't because, you know, I have access to a gym. Why not use it? But next week is my stuvac or my study break week period thing before we have exams the week after. I don't want to make the commute to uni, go to the gym, spend two hours there and then come back and waste like four hours of my day when I could just work out at home. I will be doing a different workout by a different influencer every day. I'm going to be rating them on difficulty, enjoyability, creativity and accessibility. I asked you guys on Instagram what home workout influencers you guys enjoy. There were a few popular ones, there were a few not so popular ones and I just wanted to have a mix of everything so um, yeah I'm really excited. Okay I need to stop talking I feel like my intros are always very long for no reason so let's just get into it. I'll see you on Monday. Today is the first day of my study vacation. Going to start the week off with my favorite lady ever, Natasha Ocean. So I'll try not to be too biased when I'm reviewing this workout. I've never done it before. As I'm sure you guys know, I love Natasha. And you guys will soon be able to see that I was literally dying throughout this entire workout. My hair's already cold. I think her workouts are as good as you make them, but I also quickly learn circuit training is definitely not my style of training, at least for now. I just get bored way too quickly, and I feel like the repetitiveness of circuit training just takes away from my enjoyment of working out altogether. Did you do three rounds of this? I'll get it next round. I also kind of wish that she was talking to us throughout the workout so it felt like I, we were there with her. I know that's kind of difficult, like I literally can't talk when I'm working out because I'm too exhausted. But I guess that's just what I expect of a real-time workout because I want it to feel like I'm there with them. Overall though, I really like this workout because, and you'll notice that I chose this for every single one of the workouts this week, there was no equipment and it didn't take up much space. Meaning there's kind of like a baseline of having nothing with you. And that's great because you can make it as hard or as easy as you want it to be. Oh, this guy is so beautiful today. And I think it's great that home workouts kind of allow you to do that. Also, last thing, kind of a side note, I'm not really rating the workouts based on this, but her music choice is immaculate. You see this ponytail? You see how low that is? That ain't right. Look like a hot mess. Literally hot, sweaty, disgusting. Wow, that was a bit of a roller coaster. It wasn't easy, as you could tell, but I wasn't in pain either. Natasha comes through with these exercises. They are always creative, and even if they're like borderline basic, I don't really care because it's Natasha again, like. Welcome to my study. It is Tuesday and it is so gloomy and cold outside and I'm a bit of a wuss when it comes to this kind of weather So we're gonna do our workout indoors. I'm gonna have to do it in a room with carpeting. So Study it is. Today we are gonna be trying out Chloe Ting's workout. I have never done her workouts before But I know she's known for her ab workout So of course we have to try it out because I'm trying to do like full body days every day We're gonna pair this ab workout with another one a full body one and then I'll report back. Before I get into the Chloe segment of this video, I wanted to have a little chat with you guys. If I'm being honest, I was very wary before starting Chloe's workouts because I had heard a few things that she said that seemed very incorrect. I've heard some negative things from other people about her content. And while I was skimming her page for workouts, I noticed that there was a lot of misinformation in terms of being able to spot reduce fat by doing her workouts. Let me be clear that this is not an attack on her 
workouts themselves because trust me i did it and i was dying like it was a good workout or her personality or the people who enjoy her workouts i'm not here to say anything to you or tell you what to do but i wanted to chat about this because i want to make a point about integrity in the content that you put out and why it's so important to put out the truth especially in the fitness industry where huge companies are literally profiting off our insecurities about our bodies again i want to say i'm not making a judgment about her as a person she seems really sweet and really fun and she was so motivating during the workout so don't come for me i understand titles like this will help you lose inner thigh fat will get you likes and clicks and views and whatever but it's not true i just don't appreciate that as a consumer and as a, as a viewer, as someone who had body image struggles and as someone who wants to promote a healthier relationship with your body and with fitness. I was kind of worried to do the ab workout because I'm genuinely kind oh. of afraid of them. Okay. I don't care how advanced you think you are, workouts that only target the abs are so painful. In saying that though, of course, abs will tire out your abs like crazy, but it's not that intense on the entire body. Oh my god, I'm only like four minutes in. And because I only followed up with 10 minutes of hit, I wouldn't say the entire workout was that difficult compared to the other workouts that I did this week. This, why? We're not even halfway. But because it was short and sweet and pretty intense, I kind of got what I wanted to get out of it. I'm gonna do a hit workout now. It's gonna be 10 minutes. Easy breezy. I also really like that she was kind of motivating us throughout the workout here and there, just throwing in some motivational quotes, kind of keep the viewers on their toes and keep them going till the end. Am I doing this right? I know. The main thing I took away from Chloe's workouts and the channel in general is that it's tailored for people who are just getting started in the fitness journey and don't really know where to start or kind of want someone to tell them what to do. Hence the beginner modifications and kind of the little motivational comments she makes throughout the workouts. But I think once people move past those beginner stages, they slowly stop watching her workouts and for the same reason I just feel like I can't really relate to the content or the demographic that she's trying to target anymore. I love that I have to tie my hair into a ponytail for every workout because if I did a bun it would just come off but I literally cannot survive a workout without immediately tying it into a bun afterwards. <laughs> We're still in the study by the way. I think I'm stinking it up a little bit because I am sweaty if you can't already tell. You guys know I don't do cardio anymore. I mostly just do strength training and so yeah I mean doing any kind of cardio and any kind of ab workout is extremely difficult for me. She's very encouraging throughout the whole thing saying you know it's okay to take a break whatever but my competitive ass was like I'm not taking a break honey even though I did <laughs> throughout the workout. On to Wednesday. Hopefully I'm not too sore tomorrow. We'll see. Okay. Today we are trying Caroline Gervin. Apparently she's very well known, well liked. I think she was recommended quite a few times, so I'm excited to try this out. I had a bit of a preview of the workout and it seemed very intense. I think over the week it's gonna be like progressively harder to get myself outside and work out because it's so cold. To be fair, this weather could be a lot worse, like yesterday when it was all gloomy. Okay, this workout really made me suffer, let me tell you. I really like that there was a balance of kind of the basic exercises mixed in with some advanced movements, some creative movements. I thought that kind of added a nice personal touch to the workout. Also, I have to give props to Caroline because this is the first time in the week where there was a stretching portion. I know, insane. She balancing that one. I'm so confused. I know it's not a given because workouts are supposed to be workouts without any other fluff, but I like that it kind of capped the end of it. Oh jeez, why? But since there was a stretching portion, maybe it would have been nice to have a warm up as well, just to kind of come full circle, I guess. And again, I feel like I sound like a broken record, but I just wish there were some beginner modifications. I don't want to toot my own horn, I don't think I'm a beginner, but honestly, Caroline is insanely fit, like that is an objective statement, and I couldn't keep up. I think I would have gotten more out of the workout if I had the chance to do modified versions of what she was doing. Overall, I can see why people choose to do her workouts, like she is definitely very intense and makes it difficult for you and I liked her energy but for me personally I got bored very early on I can't even put my finger on it I don't know what it was maybe I just felt some disconnect from me and what was happening in the screen but I just could not find any motivation to keep going which is so disappointing because I really wanted to like her videos let's debrief on that workout I might be wrong but I feel like I heard her say like this is supposed to be the intensity of like a cool 5k 
it was not. Can I just say that I loved that there were no repeats. When she said that at the start of the video, I was like, I feel like at the start it was pretty easy. Like I was like, oh, this is not too bad. It's not going to be too bad. Lies. It got exponentially harder. And I was like really suffering through the whole thing. I guess that's what people want from home workouts. I don't know. I personally don't like suffering that much, but um, it was a challenge for sure. It is now Thursday. It's not Thursday. It is now Friday. I took yesterday off from working out because three days in a row of doing full body days hits a lot on my body. Especially after yesterday, I felt like I wasn't really giving it my all to the workout because I was exhausted and a bit sore. So today I'm back fresh and rejuvenated. We are testing out Sydney Cummings today. This one is a no equipment workout and I'm excited to try it. So. Not gonna lie, when I was looking for one of Sydney's workouts, I was kind of disappointed because a lot of them required dumbbells or some sort of equipment, which, you know, for me is obviously not ideal because I don't have any. But in saying that, after doing this workout, I was so pleasantly surprised. I'm not even exaggerating when I say I really, really love this workout for several reasons. First of all, it was fun and creative and somehow Sydney made a YouTube workout super interactive. It felt like I was there with her doing a live class and she was walking me through the entire thing in person and it was just really, really fun. I also thought the exercises were challenging, but not so much where I felt like I needed to stop midway or throw up. I think she found that balance and I think that's what makes her so attractive to a lot of viewers. Genuine question though, why do I look like that? I'm using a wire. <laughs> I have to say, I was really drawn to the way Sydney narrated her workout and the way she kind of handled it like it was a live class. I'm a bit of an editing nerd, so I noticed that compared to other YouTubers, there isn't really much going on post-production in terms of visual elements of a YouTube workout, like exercise previews or beginner mods on screen. But I think that's kind of a testament to what I was saying about Sydney's workouts having a live feeling to them. I feel like that's my only negative comment about her workouts, but like, is it really a bad thing? I don't know why i just really really loved it this workout today was probably my favorite out of all of the workouts so far i really enjoyed it because it felt like i was doing a live class and it literally brought me back to when i used to do f45 and i would like see them do the demos and stuff i can see why people love sydney and i can see why people do these workouts by choice because they're really fun we're almost at the end of this workout journey it's kind of sad it's a bit bittersweet. On Monday, I was like, this is gonna be a long week. And now we're on Saturday. I don't know how that happened. It just, time goes by really fast. Anyway, today we're gonna be doing a Deja Riley workout. I'm excited to try because obviously we have to give credit to small YouTubers who don't get as much returns as bigger YouTubers, but still put in the hard work to put out really, really good content. Do you hear the cracks in my ankles? Cold. I'm gonna preface by saying that this workout was a boxing slash dancing style workout aka I'm very uncomfortable doing both of those things meaning I chose a beginner workout so obviously it wasn't that difficult most of the workout was spent going through the motions explaining how to do basic boxing moves and which is like kind of what you expect you know from a beginner workout and also when I say all of those things I was still sweating and still out of breath by the end of it so I still got what I came for this video gave me the same vibes as yesterday's video in that it made me feel like I was doing a live class and a live trainer was telling me what to do. I really like that Deja had a group of women behind her also doing the workout. Look at all of us vibing. One of them was doing the beginner version and the others were doing the standard advanced version. It was really nice, it kind of felt like a little community, you know, like all of us were doing it together. I mean, I think Deja really created a platform for people who want to try something but don't really know what they're doing and I think it was very inclusive and accepting in that way. Like, I looked ridiculous. I didn't know what I was doing but I felt welcome anyway. And I love that Deja integrates dancing and boxing. It makes it feel like you're having fun. You're not just exercising. Just for now, my personal preference is the quote-unquote traditional classic cardio workout but that's not to say I'm never gonna box again I think it's such a good not only physical workout but it trains your mind as well the good thing about boxing workouts is that it builds on itself so all the workouts that I've done except for this one have been kind of standard cardio workouts which means you just kind of do one move and then you move on to another but with boxing workouts it's kind of like you do part of a move and then you build up on that until you kind of get to the full move and that's how it gets like progressively harder I guess and I think that's why it's really enjoyable because you feel like you're kind of building your skills as you go along. 
Guys, it is the last day of our week of trying a bunch of influencers home workouts. I wasn't actually going to work out today, but consider it a bonus day extra content this week. So I have a friend, Simi, if you're watching this, hi. <laughs> she basically does live workouts, full body, um, minimal equipment. Her kind of goal is to improve the diversity in fitness. And so she brings that by being a South Asian woman and she's trying to preach that to the people who watch her workouts. And I think that's a great message and I want to support that. So I'm going to be trying one of her workouts today. You do need two dumbbells. I don't have dumbbells. So I'm just going to use water bottles that I've kind of estimated to be the same weight. I don't know if they are. I might create some imbalances, we don't know. I know this week I said we weren't gonna do any equipment workouts, but like I said, this is bonus content. Let's just not consider it as part of the rest of the week's workouts. I'm still gonna review it though because it is this video. The energy from this workout, unmatched. I was having so much fun throughout the whole thing. Simi's energy was insane and it was just nice to feel like I was part of this sweaty strength community. Sweaty strength is what she calls her workout classes by the way if you didn't know. I feel like this workout was a lot more mentally challenging than physically challenging. The whole premise is that a lot of it focuses on boxing and boxing to the beat of the music which means it moves very fast. I know this is a me problem but I could not keep up. <laughs> I had to pause and rewind several times because I was just I could not keep up. I don't know what happened the thread just came undone so I had to cut it off I can still wear them there's no hole but like we're on the verge. The good thing is Simi gives you options if you're taking it live that if you get stuck you can just do some jabs or you can hold a push-up position and it's just very versatile in that way. You can really tell that she puts in an effort to make you enjoy exercising and movement like by incorporating really creative and intense fast-paced exercises that in a way somehow makes you want to keep going and want to anticipate what she has in store for you. I want to quickly mention the music choice for this workout because I feel like the idea of diversity in fitness is completely embodied in this brand. I'm a very nitpicky person so details matter to me and the fact that there was music from different cultures from all over the world was really meaningful, you know? I guess my only critique would have to be about the dumbbells because not everyone has access to them. Exhibit A, me. And also the boxing moves didn't have that same element like I mentioned in Deja's workout about kind of building up from simple to complex. But overall, this workout was so challenging mentally and physically. By the end of it, I was so tired out, but I loved it. I am dead. I've been saying that for all the workouts I've been doing this week, but I truly am dead. As usual, I've forgotten to film an outro until two weeks later when I'm editing this video, but um... Alas, we're editing, we're filming outros, it is what it is. Also, I cut my hair, surprise, if you haven't seen it already. It's quite short compared to what it was earlier in this video. This week was quite interesting because I got to explore YouTubers that I normally wouldn't have searched up myself. It was kind of good to get out of my comfort zone and do workouts that I like, do workouts that I didn't like. It's a, all a process. At the end of the day though, I obviously have a favorite and that is... Sydney Cummings. I know, she was just... I had nothing bad to say about her workouts. I think it was just the right amount of challenging. It was really enjoyable. She made it very interactive. I did mention that most of her workouts require equipment. This one in particular obviously didn't use equipment and that was by my choice. And I think that contributed to why it was so great because I really didn't require anything other than my body and a bit of space and a wire. <laughs> and that's not to say any of the other workouts were bad because all of them were good in their own right, but this was just my favorite. To reiterate, all of this is my own opinion, which means it can change over time. It can change depending on what workout I'm watching. It's just how I felt in this specific week doing these specific workouts. But other than that, if you made it to the end of this video, thanks for sticking around. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and comment something down below if you're feeling generous. I'll see you guys next video. Bye. I'ma show you how to get it, it go right foot up, left foot slide, left foot up, right foot slide. Basically I'm saying either way we ride the slide, hey, can't let this one slide. Don't you wanna dance with me?